Hello guys, this is Ty, AKA The Flip Man. What should I do first? Common question I receive via text, email, phone calls, whether it's a post on YouTube, or Facebook, or wherever. Probably the most common question, what should I do first? <laughs> Obviously, what you should do first is educate yourself. Whether it's through me and the free content that I offer on YouTube, which over 200 plus videos that tell you everything you need to know about wholesaling houses, or through reading a book, or through another source, um, you got to educate yourself. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, you can try to uh, free fall through it or whatever, but you got to educate yourself. Now, if you're on Instagram, you can tap the button, watch more. I only have a minute here, so you can talk, watch more to see this in complete. Uh, video, Twitter, click the link, same thing. What should I do first? Again, you must educate yourself. Uh, when I started um, and I heard the idea of creating real estate investing without using your cash or credit, I knew that I needed to find out more. So I, I was fortunate enough to got more inspired and went on a search. I asked a question on a, a particular website I used to frequent for entre online entrepreneurs. One person responded, sent me in the right direction on where I originally acquired the information that I needed to do to learn this information. Again, um, I, a lot of us would love to have someone that you know already, whether it's a family member, or a friend, or a co worker, or whoever, that could just tell you about this but most of us don't know someone like that. Now, I have had people to call me and say, hey, Ty, uh, you know, one of my friends or I got a cousin or it's, I've had even brothers and sisters and uh, they know how to do this, but I want to get in it too. So my question to them is, well, why don't they tell you? Oh, they won't tell me. Wow, we, we would have a problem. Anyone that I care about, I, I happily will show and share this information with. That's really how I got to this point of actually training and giving some of it away, most of it away free. And then the actual paid version of it when you want to deal directly with me is because I was wasting my time with family members because I was so excited that I had found something that I could make money with that could change my financial situation and it happened quickly. I would tell them for free, they wouldn't do anything with their information. So I made up in my mind, hey, if I'm going to tell people this, I'll give it away for free, but if they're going to uh, bleed into my actual time, I got to charge for that. So that's how I got to that point. But anyway, so you need to educate yourself, whether it's with a mentor or not. When I educated myself, I didn't have a mentor because of how I acquired the information. I bought a book, basically a bootleg copy from someone that was running an auction, you eBay. They contacted me by email back then. You could do that through eBay. And we negotiated a price. So didn't come with a coach. Probably couldn't afford the rate anyway then or, you know, back then for sure. So anyway, long story short, I educated myself. But the next thing that you know I did, I took action. I, I was full of information, full of information, and didn't know what the hell I was about to do because I, um, and excuse my language if I'm offended by when I was using that word, but hey, I don't think it's a cuss word. But anyway, um... I took action even though I was on information low overload because the information that the course that I that I that I purchased was actually about four or five courses into one. And I went from not knowing anything about real estate to the point where I knew several ways to make money with no money down. But I was on information overload and I was still afraid. Now, before I go into FUD, I just want to mention a couple of things. Um Take advantage of the free webinar on this third at 7 p.m. Eastern, how to average 10K per month wholesaling houses while I'll go through the actual sellers and buyers contract. I'll break down all the numbers. You, you'll really understand the entire process by signing up for this webinar. Uh, using a catchy name here, not sure if I'll continue to use it, but uh, instead of webinar, instead of seminar, sign up at flippinar.com. I guess you get it. If you think the name is corny or cheesy, good. That means you'll probably remember it. Flippinard.com. You can sign up there for the webinar uh, this Thursday at 7 p.m. Normally it's going to be every Thursday as, as, as 
as much as the interest is there, I'll continue to do it. That if the interest dwindles or disappears, I won't waste my time. If you, people are not interested, it's that simple. So flippinard.com, you can sign up uh, to access the webinar this Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, you know, you can call or text me uh, at 205-492-3425 with general questions about my courses and coaching. Uh, you can access my free videos to YouTube at flipman.net. Um, if you want a free copy of my one-page contract, just text the word contract to 313131. Don't text me. Don't text my number. Text to this number, 313131. Text the word contract. I, I'm emphasizing this because that's what people do. Don't text me. Text 313131. Treat that just like a phone number. Put the uh, word contract in the subject. Hit send. You'll get a response on where you can download the contract for free. If you need proof of funds for deals that were that are involved in realtors, because you're going to need that, simply go to realpof.com. You can get access there. That's realpof.com. All right. So back to what should I do first? After you've educated yourself, then, as I said, you're going to want to take action and take an action so you know what you're doing. So um, so I, I have students, even after they finish their information, and I stress, <laughs> I stress the advertising and market side of the business so much because it's, it's really what you are as a wholesaler. You're, even though your term is used as, as wholesaler, uh, which is a form of investing, you're really a marketer. You're really an advertiser. It's like you're having an advertising firm because your daily job is to get up and let people know you exist. All right. So how I mean to take action. Now, some people don't have a budget. They don't have a budget to start with. So you're going to have to go about it a couple of ways. Either you're going to have to target, which I, this is what I suggest. A lot of ways to do this, but this is what I suggest. You're going to have to tar target landlords and playing the number that they're tired of the landlord business, dealing with people not paying them, uh, repairing houses that people are torn up, you're going to target those. This is someone not a budget to work with. Or um, you're going to also just drive, drive for dollars. That just costs you gas, money, and time, and target for sale by owners. You really want to target things that are not online because even though you can do deals, when I say for sale by owner online, you can't do deals there, but it's going to take a special type of buyer that doesn't care that you pull something offline that he could have pulled offline. All right. Now, you'll have a lot of sellers that may be a little not Internet savvy. They'll advertise their property only by sticking a sign in the yard that's for sale by owner. That's a difficult way to do it, but possible. Takes a lot of patience. You only need one deal to be able to start to advertise to get your phone ringing, which is what I always suggest. So it's going to take a lot of patience to do it that way by targeting for sale. I mean, for rent signs online and offline targeting the landlord in the Craigslist section, that'll be apartments and houses. That'll be the rental section on Zillow or sites like that. You target them for rental section. Now you want to try to avoid as much as possible property managers and realtors that are working for the owner to rent out their property. You really want to deal with just Mr. Renner, blow Joe to, directly with them if possible. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but in most cases, that's who you're targeting. Again, that's a very difficult way to do it. It takes a lot of patience. You need to just set yourself a daily goal or a weekly goal. Say, hey, I'm going to talk to X amount of for sale by owners or X amount of landlords per day and just set that goal. And, and it's just a snowball effect will take over in that. And if you, if you take that actual option, Again, you could do deals that way if you're not on it, you don't have a budget um, to, to market yourself, which doesn't take much, but you, know, you only can do what you could do. So if you don't have time, you get, uh, if you don't have money, in most cases, you got time. If you don't have money, in most cases, you have time. So a lot of people say, well, I don't have time. Blah. Well, stop watching your favorite show on TV, and that probably will uh, uh, free up uh, the time that you need to do pretty much anything, especially educating yourself. All right. Assuming that you do have the money to budget budget. Now, obviously, you know, I'm a big banner sign guy. You don't have to do banner signs, but
but I can tell you right now, nothing works better. I've done the radio, billboard, TV, uh, obviously the internet, direct mail, and nothing works better than if you have an effective bandit sign campaign. Again, you don't have to do it that way. No tons of people that run their entire business off of direct mail. It's, it, it, direct mail is more expensive than bandit signs, but you have to be consistent no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing a combination of bandit signs and direct mail together or just one by themselves. You have to be consistent based on the budget that you have available to do it with. All right, so assuming that you have the budget to start or you're trying to take the free approach, the, one of the fraud questions people say, well, do I need a buyer's list first or do I need to target sellers? Both work. But the way I was taught it and the way I teach it is sellers. It's sellers because that's the most difficult part of it. Buyers are easy if you have something that they want, which is money, because you've negotiated a great deal with tons of equity. So I, I recommend spending the majority of your time with sellers. It's not hard to give away money because if you have an attractive deal, buyers will come out of the woodwork if, it, if the deal fits the area and the opposite condition of the, that particular property. So what should I do first? First, you educate yourself. After you educate yourself, no matter what uh, source that you use, you then take action, whether that's free or you're going to market and advertise yourself. And then who should you target first? I say target sellers because that's the harder part. So that's where all your efforts should go because if you find a deal, it's not difficult to get a buyer to take that off your hand. And that's also the same way that you can also build a buyer's list. So again, there you go. Educate yourself. Take action, whether it's free or through advertising and marketing. Start with sellers. The buyers will come. Don't forget the live free webinar, How to Average 10K Per Month Wholesaling Houses, this Thursday at 7 p.m. You can sign up at flippernorth.com uh, or you can sign up at flipmanlive.com. You know you can call or text me about flipman.net. You can access uh, my 200-plus videos on YouTube. Want a free copy of my contract? Just text the word contract to 313131. And if you need proof of funds, just go to realpof.com. If you want to deal with realtors, you got to play that cat and mouse game. So you have access to proof of funds, unlimited proof of funds as far as the number of times you can make offers with it. So boom, there you go. Um, I gave you the three steps. Explain them all. What should you do first? The main thing is whether all the knowledge in the world, you must take action. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.